How much sleep does a toddler actually need? Um, when I'm saying toddler, for the purpose of this video, we're going to be talking about one, two, three, four, and five-year-olds. In case you don't know me or you're new here, hi, I'm Valerie. I'm a therapist specialized in birth and six mental health and sleep, and I offer alternatives to sleep training and cry it out methods. Uh, your one to five-year-old does not need as much sleep as you probably think from everything that you've read online. And we're going to talk about that in this video. Let's talk about what they actually need. But first, I'm going to start with a question. Could it be that your child's sleep doesn't actually suck, but you think it sucks because you have the wrong information that is causing you to have really unrealistic expectations of their sleep? Here's the shocking truth. Oftentimes, toddlers don't actually need as much sleep or as early of a bedtime as people think. I'm totally guilty of this too, always thinking that our bedtime is either too late or that my toddler is not getting enough sleep. Uh, there is this ridiculous idea that all toddlers should be asleep by 7 p.m. or 7.30 p.m. to have good, high-quality sleep. But the reality is that every child needs something different. And actually, 7 or 7.30 might be a horrible time for some toddlers, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, because the expectation is that they would go to sleep at 7 or 7.30 and also sleep all the way to a decent hour, like 7 a.m. the next day. Here's the problem with that. If your one to five-year-old is napping during the day, which is very likely that they are, because most little ones keep napping until they drop their nap between two and a half and five years. Um, so it could be that up to five, like you've got four or five-year-old that's still napping, for example. Um, most of them still need the nap in order to function throughout the day. But if they are napping, and let's say they're napping for two hours, then 7 or 7.30 may just be too early for them to go to sleep for the night and sleep until a decent hour. So I'll show you an example so you know what I mean. According to the National Sleep Foundation, from one to two years old, they need a total sleep amount of sleep of 11 to 14 hours. This is a range. It changes between different children. So you have to figure out what it is for yours. Um, from two years old to five years old, they need a total range of 10 to 13 hours. Now here is the catch. It's a total amount of sleep that includes nap time. Okay. So for example, if your toddler needs 12 hours of sleep, and they are having a two hour nap, which is really common for let's say a two year old or a three year old. Um, this means that they will need 10 hours of sleep overnight. So remember they need 12 in a 24 hour period and they're napping for two hours. That means we've got 10 hours left at night. So let's say their bedtime is at seven and your child needs 10 hours of sleep at night. Guess what time they're actually gonna wake up for the day horrible 5 a.m. <laughs> They're going to be up, excited, well-rested, ready to go for the day. <laughs> and then you're going to be calling me and saying, Valerie, I'm dealing with really early morning wakes. So first, let's make sure that this is not the case for you. This is a really common one. Before you go dropping that nap prematurely in hopes of extending the night, that is not what I'm recommending here because many toddlers do need this nap to actually get through the day and make it to bedtime without any major meltdowns. Their brain is still developing and they need that daytime rest. Um, so I know it's enticing to try to limit or even drop naps in, in the hopes of an earlier bedtime, but sometimes uh, the choice is between later bedtimes and a happy, well-functioning child over an earlier bedtime with two hours of a mess every night after 5 p.m. Which one would you choose? <laughs> so it's important to make sure that your bedtime is realistic for how much sleep your individual child needs and to tailor uh, your like schedules to your individual family's lifestyle so that stress is not a part of sleep. How many times have you tried to get home in time to be able to make get home, get dinner ready, get them ready for sleep so that they can get down for seven when you're only finding yourself constantly rushing, no time to even talk to them or, or play with them or see them or do anything other than do all your housework because you're trying to get them to bed by seven. 
it can be really unrealistic for many families. It can add stress to your evening. And guess what does not help sleep? Stress and pressure and disconnection because we're so busy with what we're doing. Um, So tell me in the comments, um, when is your child's bedtime? Um, does it seem to be working for them? Are they napping? What sounds best for you? If you want to learn exactly how much sleep they need, how many naps um, they need at a certain age, and realistic uh, overnight sleep stretches that you can expect, make sure to get the free normal toddler sleep guide. It's available on the link um, in the description, or you can send me a message that says toddler guide and I'll send you a link. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, if you want to be notified when I post videos again, make sure to hit the bell um, and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. I wish you sweet cuddles and dreams.